Hey everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're going to look at using Facebook for business. So uh, Facebook, I've decided to look at this platform third in the series because people already have a lot of experience in Facebook. How many people? Over one billion people. That's 1,000 million people. So lots of people have heard of Facebook and have used Facebook minimally at least. So I'm not going to go through the process of creating a, a Facebook personal account, but I will go through the process of creating a business account. What's the difference? Well, Facebook wants a person to create an account uh, for themselves and then to create business accounts. Very similar to Google+. Plus. So I'm on the Facebook home page here. Uh, if you've already got a, an... Uh, if you've already got an account, you can uh, log in, of course, at the top. Or if you're new to Facebook, we've got sign up. So again, you should have a personal account first before you can create business accounts. A common pitfall is to create a business page straight on this screen here. You put in your company name and company email and all of that and actually it wants you to create the business one first so there's a screen where you can convert your business your accidentally created business page into a real business page but at this point I'm going to let you go through the process if you need to sign up for a personal account you can do so fill this out name email uh, password birthday if you are new to this you don't really want to fill it out you don't want uh, your 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 information there again you can uh, kind of make this up a bit uh, you can always put January 1st 1980 and um, fill it out sign up and then you'll have an account now I'm going to switch over to uh, a screen where I assume that many of us already have our own personal accounts. So uh, I'm going to assume that you've already signed in and then you have your home screen on Facebook. So uh, I'm in my personal account. I can tell there's my, I, uh, there's my avatar. And uh, here's what we need to do when we uh, set up a business account. At the top right corner, you should see a little triangle, a little black triangle here. Um, this is your, your icon to change your Facebook profile to switch accounts. Since I do this for various clients, notice I have a variety of um, Facebook pages that I manage. Yours is probably empty. So what we want to do is up on that triangle, select create page. Then at this point, it's going to ask you what type of page to create. This should be familiar, sort of like when we did Facebook and like or when we did Google Plus. And when we did Google Plus, if you wanted to do a local business, you have to verify your local business. So I'm going to say that if I'm doing a local business, Victor's Bakery, and I select there, I need to choose categories, etc. I want to do food, business, or business name, and then an, a street address. So this is what, um, for me, I'm, I'm not going to do local business. I want to do local business, but I can't do it because this is a fictional business. Uh, there's no real street address. So if you're doing a business, you, you should put a street address. Now, what if you're an online business? You don't have any street address. Here we go. Company, organization, or institution. So if you're able to fill this out with a street address and zip code and phone number of a real brick-and-mortar business, you, you, you should do so. Uh, for this to work, you'll have to put in the address and phone number because uh, you'll need to verify you're actually the controller of, of that business. But I'm going to go with company or organization. 
uh, you can make a Facebook uh, page on a brand or product, cause, community, entertainment, artist, band, or public figure. But I'm going to go with company. Here we go. So I'll go with food and beverages, company name, Victor's Bakery. Get started. So we're going to then see several screens here. Many of them might be um, skippable. Uh, so first screen here, number one of four. Uh, add a description and website to improve the ranking of your page in search. Uh, Facebook, like the other networks, has a built-in search. If you want people to find you there, you, you want to fill out your profile as completely as possible so people can find you. So add a few sentences to tell people about what your page is about. You have 155 characters, so uh, I'm going to use basically what I use in the other networks, uh, which at this point I forgot what it is, but San Diego's Premier um, Family Owned Bakery, etc. Use up as much as you can of those 155 characters so that when people search, they more likely find you. Uh, website address. Notice it technically said uh, your website, uh, either your main home page, your Twitter, your Yelp, etc. I'm going to do my home page. This is fake. Choose a unique Facebook web address to make it easier for people to find you. Uh, if you skip this, you'll still have your own web address, but it'll be something like facebook.com slash pages slash 1259 slash Victor's Bakery dash 12592287. If you want your own unique name like Victor's Bakery, you can set it up here. You can use underscores, uh, dashes, I believe, numbers, dots, no spaces. Is Victor's Bakery a real organization? In my case, no, but I'll select yes because I assume most of you um, do have the real business. Will Victor's Bakery be the authorized and official representation of this organization? Yes, I represent it because it's my business. Save info. Where web address is not available. Oops, already taken. I might have done it before. So hopefully your name isn't taken, but here I've made another name. Web address is not available. Okay. I might need a moment to find one that doesn't that isn't taken. I have a feeling that this is Facebook very subtly telling me that I need to perhaps add numbers to my address because I doubt that something like this has been taken. Yep, pretty sad. So, okay, I'm going to skip that. Profile picture. So again, you want to have a picture That represents your business. The more you fill out your profile, the more professional it looks. So, add a picture if you have it. seem to be having a little bit of bad luck at the moment. Facebook didn't like my name and trying to upload this photo and not getting a response. That's what happens when you've got the most popular social network in the world. Sometimes it's slow. So I'm gonna skip it.
if you're going to be accessing your Facebook page often, you can add it to your favorites. And what this means is when you log into your personal account, it will show up on the left side under favorites. This is optional because I'm going to show you um, the way that I recommend that you switch between accounts. So I'll skip that. Reach more people. We're going to get now our first dose of the reality of what it is to have a modern Facebook business page. In short, you're going to be a needle in a haystack. Even if you've got a very unique business, someone else has that same unique business. There are, um, as I said, over 1 billion people using Facebook. So to stand out from them, Facebook, uh, Facebook recommends that you do a little bit of advertising. So I'll get back to that later. It is something that I recommend. It's very affordable, but this is the nature of Facebook. Um, but I'll get back to it. I'm going to skip. And again, I apologize. This should be working pretty fast. I'm going to assume that it worked. And here we go. My first item here is about liking my page. And on Facebook, the main thing that we want to strive for is getting likes. A like means that when a person, uh, when someone else likes your page, it says here, when people visit your page, they will see that at least one person has been here before. But when they like your page, whatever you post will show up on their timeline. That's how you get the message out uh, on this network. You're going to post something, and then you will get, uh, and then people that have liked your account will see the result. So I'm going to like my own page. At least I'll have one like. Uh, you'll get some statistics. Notice this is not available on the personal account. You'll get some statistics here. You have page likes, net messages, and so forth. Uh, you've got an item up here which is something that is pretty useful, building your audience. Make sure everyone know, everyone on your email contest li list knows about your your page. So this is basically inviting your friends to like your page. We'll check that out later. And then here it is. Here's my uh, here's my uh, my Victor's Bakery page. So come back on the next video and we'll continue to set this up.